ready to supercharge your Avalonia debugging. Let's get the new dev tools set up. First, we'll install the Avalonia UI developer tools as a .NET global tool. If we're on Windows or Linux, we'd simply replace the Mac OS with either Windows or Linux. It's pretty simple. Once installed, DevTools is available across your entire system. Next, we need to add the Diagnostic Support NuGet package to our Avalonia app. I'm in the right directory, so I'm just going to use the .NET CLI for this. Now let's enable DevTools within our application. We'll go ahead and find the app.initialize method, which is just here. And look for the Avalonia XAML loader .load method. And below this, we're going to call this dot attach developer tools. We can save that and we can start running our application. So with our application running, we can press F12 and the dev tools should load. On the first launch, we need to sign in with our Avalonia portal credentials to activate the license. After activations, the dev tools will work entirely offline. And that's it, the DevTools is running and attached to our app. We can now inspect and tweak our application's UI. Try setting it up in your project and join me in the next video where we'll explore what you can do with the new developer tools.